Today we're making a creamy hummus. No oil hummus. We're starting with two cans of drained and rinsed chickpeas or garbanzo beans. We're just going to place those in a medium sized saucepan on the stove. To that we're actually going to add a half teaspoon of baking soda. And then we're adding six cups of water to that. Here we got four cups going in. That's all I could hold there. And two more cups. So six cups total of water into the chickpeas. Then we're bringing those to a boil. And what we want to do is once it boils, reduce it to a simmer. And we're going to simmer that for about 20 to 25 minutes or even up to 30 minutes until the beans get real soft. And you'll notice some of the skin start to separate from the beans. So the goal here is to get the, the beans soft. Meanwhile, while they're simmering, um, we've got time to take four cloves of garlic and minced garlic. You want to mince that down real good. And then we're adding a teaspoon and a half of fine sea salt to that. And then we're coming in with a generous one third cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. That's the equivalent of two large oranges, roughly. And you whisk that together. Want to um, combine that as thoroughly as possible. So whisk it for a minute or so. And then when the beans are soft and after you've cooked, simmered them for 20 to 30 minutes, take them off the stove and we're going to run those through a strainer into the sink. And then we're going to actually run some cold water over those. Just sort of shake them a little bit uh, while you add some cold water. And the goal here, we're going to separate some of the skins off of the beans. Not all of them, but we're going to just kind of carefully um, peel some of those off. They actually kind of separate this way by running cold water in alternating fashion with kind of shaking that uh, strainer. So you just kind of do this a few times. Meanwhile, picking off the... Uh, skins that separate. So you'll just spend a minute or so doing this. It doesn't take long, maybe a couple of minutes. Um, and you don't need to get all the skins, but um, try to get, you'll end up with a half to even a cup of skins there um, in total. Just kind of get what you can and you'll see there kind of what we end up with is the soft beans with mostly the skins removed. And we're going to add those to the bowl of a food processor. And we're going to pour into that the lemon juice garlic salt mixture that we combined earlier and one quarter cup of just plain water. And I forgot to mention here, I actually reserve about a quarter cup of those beans out of the food processor and leave them whole for garnish later so we have some on top of the hummus. So I'm processing all of the beans except for about a quarter of a cup. And we're just going to run that uh, alternating, well, kind of low, medium to high for a minute or two. And just to get that um, fairly smooth. You can see there how it's got fairly smooth. You're going to have a little bit of lump in there um, from the garlic. Um, and then we're going to come in with that and add a half a cup of sun butter is what I use. You can use tahini. I tend to, I'm not a big tahini fan, so I use sun butter. And I just added a half teaspoon of ground cumin and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. And here we're adding uh, the zest of one lemons going into that. And we'll actually usually put between one and two, maybe three tiny or small ice cubes into that as well, which you'll see here in a minute. That's going to give it a little bit more creaminess and liquefy it a bit, thin it out a bit. Um, it should be fairly pourable when, when you're through. Um, not too, kind of like a thick, 
like a waffle batter, something like that. And then you're going to garnish with um, toasted walnuts, uh, the rest of your garbanzo beans, some diced green onion and some diced parsley, um, seasoned with salt and pepper as needed there, and use to your enjoyment. Hope you enjoy it, and thanks so much for watching our videos as always, and we hope that you'll subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks again and enjoy.